you guys welcome back to Janie's crazy life I thought today was just gonna be just another boring day at home nothing to do I was gonna clean out my closet um, had to call my credit card company and block my card because it's, I think it's been fraudulently used and then I get a phone call from Bevels I had uploaded a video this last video before this one okay and she says to me this is not word for word, but she basically says to me, um, I think the beginning of your videos is mispronounced, uh, misspelled the word life. Janie's crazy life. And I'm like, it is? She said, yes, I think it's, and I forget how she said it was spelled, but basically it's misspelled. And I was like, well, let's look and see. So I go on to my channel, play the beginning of my videos, one of them, and lo and behold, if it does not say in that curve section, Janie's crazy, L-I-L-F-E. Okay? So, a lift, Lilith, Lilith, Life, 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 Lilith, Lilith. So, it's Janie's crazy, a Lilith. <laughs> so, she was laughing. So, you know, I there's over a hundred videos with that Janie's crazy, a Lilith. Lilith, li, li. there's over a hundred videos with that. Thank goodness I at least let y'all know when you, when I <clears throat> start the video or have in the past started the video. Say welcome back to Janie's crazy life. Um, that way it's not total confusion. But that's my dyslexia or something kicking in. Um, so I get to fix that today. I get to fix that. Hey, at least fixing that is keeping me from having to clean my closet. I don't want to clean my closet today. But that's what I was going to do, clean the closet out. So, I guess I'm going to fix the beginning of the video. It's been a long time since I changed the intro to the video. I was actually thinking a while back about changing the intro to the video a little bit. But I guess I'm going to do it now. Um. So at least you gave me something to do today other than clean my closet at the moment. Because I don't really want to clean my closet. Who enjoys sorting and cleaning a closet? I don't. I mean, I get it done and everything. Because I cleaned out that art studio. And that was something I was really dreading to do. The closet's just a matter of going cleaning it out. Probably should sort some clothes. Probably have too much. Last time I moved into that closet... When I moved into that room after Mama passed, because uh, it's the master bedroom, I decided then that I must have thought I was going to go naked. I had so many clothes. Um, but I guess I need to sort out and clean the closet again. Even though the news said the other night, local news showed the garbage men, and they made a comment about they... You know, the garbage people are overworked a little bit right now with all the extra garbage. And that people really needed not to do spring cleaning. Um, and I know that I have left our garbage men a lot of extra stuff from the um, um, cleaning out the art studio. There was a lot of stuff that they had to take away. Um so I tipped them yesterday, 20 bucks each for all their extra hard work they've done. Because I know I've left piles out there. I've left a lot of garbage out there. And I know what it costs to rent a uh, dumpster. And I don't want to rent another dumpster. I'd rather tip my garbage man once in a blue moon, 10 to 20 bucks, um, than to uh, uh, rent a dumpster. Because that way maybe they'll take my stuff whenever they think, oh, should we really take that or not? Maybe they'll take it. So, but um, I'm going to fix the video channel here. So the beginning, I'll put up, I'll, I'll show you guys. I mean, you guys can see, you've seen the videos, but I'll put, just because I got nothing else to do other than clean out the closet. I'll insert after here now, the old video intro. So you can see the Janie's crazy L-I-L-F-E. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to redo the new video. I'm gonna, this, is, this video already has a new, by the time y'all see it, it already has a new beginning. So I'm going to play around with that. I'm telling you I'm going to play around with it even though you've already seen it. So that's what 
this video is all about. I'm rambling now, so hang in there, guys, for any other exciting thing that happens today. I think I'm actually going to bake some Easter cookies, too, today. My daughter picked up a box of the Easter cookies, and uh, they keep, for some reason, for some reason, every time I open the refrigerator door and the refrigerator is not packed solid, it's just the lights out, and I can't, I, for some reason, it won't work. I bought a new light bulb, and I can't get the new light bulb to work. Um... We tried it, changing it out. I don't know why it doesn't work, so it must be something else. But as long as the refrigerator keeps food cold, I'm not replacing it right now. But every time we open the freaking refrigerator, I think it's because it's dark in there. <clears throat> if you reach for something, these cookies keep, the packaging keeps coming out of the fridge. It's a box of cookies that you have to bake. And they're starting to drive me crazy because I'm like, these cookies get it better get baked. I'm not a big sweets eater, so... Um, that's why they're still in there because I'm not a big sweets eater, you know, so I could care less about baking. You should have seen the poor birthday cake I baked my husband for his birthday on the 4th. It was sad. <clears throat> I baked him his birthday cake and I didn't have any baking spray to put in the pan. So I, um, um, used just some spray pan <laughs> in a square pan and, uh, then I frosted the cake. And everybody, my daughter's like, Mom, why was the cake hard on the bottom? I'm like, well, I did not have any, like, Baker's Joy. I just had span, uh, a Pam, and I just sprayed the pan with Pam, and it kind of, a buttery Pam. And he, she says, uh, can we please buy my birthday cake? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, we can buy yours. I have not baked a cake in Lake Forever. I don't bake. I don't bake. I just don't bake. So... I don't eat a lot of sweet stuff, so I don't bake a lot of sweet stuff. So, um, I think that's it in a moment. So, the, I, I think I'm going to fix the video, which you've already seen the beginning new. And I think I'm going to clean out my closet today and maybe bake some Easter cookies. Tomorrow is Easter, so. All right, y'all. Later, later, later. Alright, you guys, I'm going to make for dinner tonight porcupine ball stuffed uh, bell peppers. So basically, there's a recipe out there called porcupine balls. It's meat and rice. Well, I'm going to stuff it in bell peppers. So I'm going to make stuffed porcupine bell peppers. Okay, I haven't done this in like forever. And I'm not using white rice. I'm using a Spanish rice. So it's either going to be good or not. So we're going to find out. So I'll turn you around. And I'll put it together. All right, here we go. I'm starting with about a pound of hamburger meat, give or take a little bit. It was a four pound package and it was divided in three. So give or take a little bit. All right. I'm going to mix in. Because I'm kind of thinking meatloaf, I'm going to fix in just a, mix in just a little bit of bed breadcrumbs. Okay. Like I said, I'm not following no recipe. So a little bit of breadcrumbs. Okay, mix that in. I don't know what that was. Okay. Then I'm gonna mix in. Um that's that's just stained. It's just stained. We're, we're not gonna worry about it. Uh, we're gonna mix in a little bit of onion. This is about three four slices of onion diced up. Because I'm only making um I don't, I cut my bell peppers in half and stuff them that way. I know some people um, cut the tops off and stuff them that way, but I've always done it halvesies. And I don't have really big bell peppers. They're small. Normally I buy bigger ones than this and, you know, but I don't have the bigger ones. Um, I'm going to put in one egg. But I always whisk, whisk my egg before I um, put it in there. That way it doesn't clump. That's just a stain bowl from somebody cooking spaghetti or something in this microwave bowl. So I'm going to whisk my egg to break it up. I'm not putting a lot of stuff in this. Normally I would put in a meatloaf mixture, I'd put like a little steak sauce in there to give it a little kick. And I would put some all seasoning that I liked. So one egg kind of in there. 
kind of stir that egg in a little bit extra. Right. See, I don't know. I'm thinking just a little, I don't know, I don't put too much bacon. Now, according to a recipe I saw online, because I have not made porcupine balls in like forever. Porcupine balls are usually done with white rice. And then you put it in, you brown them a little bit, like the you turn them into meatballs, and you brown them, and you in a fry pan, and then you add um, tomato, uh, canned tomato, around them, and cook them in the oven. I'm not big on tomato, so let me rinse my hands off. I'm not big on stewed tomatoes and stuff like this. One recipe I saw said to use a half a cup of water and half a cup of rice. I'm not using white rice. I'm using this. This is Spanish style yellow rice. I really like the flavor of this rice. So I'm gonna put in here, it, the directions for the white rice said to put in a half a cup of white rice to half a cup of water. Well, I'm gonna use the yellow rice and it's already flavored. So that's why I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, um, add any extra flavorings. I still have a little bit. It also said to add one cup of water. I guess that's to help the rice cook. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to pour in the water and I'm gonna start mixing this, okay, by hand. Now, what I'm gonna do, I have to get this kind of mixed up, is I'm gonna add that last rice because as a kid, I don't ever remember, uh, well, we used to make this all the time when I was a teenager, I don't remember us adding water, okay? But I get why you add water, because it makes for moisture to cook the rice. I get it. Um, when I read that in a recipe, I thought, well, that makes kind of sense. So now what I'm going to do is kind of mix in the rest of this rice. But what I'm going to do is, see, I think it needs more rice, personally, but whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'll go ahead and mix it all in. I don't know. I'm going on a fly here, guys. But the recipe said mix it all in. And um, they didn't say nothing about eggs, so that's my little interpretation. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in my bell peppers. And I think when I'm done, I'm going to come I'm gonna come back. And wait a minute, I have an idea. Let me stuff all my bell peppers. Okay? Let me stuff them all. Because the idea of the porcupine ball is that when you're done, you have like these little rice, this rice sticking out all over like a porcupine. So let me do something here. I got an idea. I got an idea. I want to have enough for all the peppers. I have an idea. Like I said, original recipe is... Let me wash my hands off. I have an idea. Are we still recording? Yes, I have an idea. Why don't I get rid of that sprinkle a little bit of rice in here? And why don't I, to get the porcupine effect, dip? my, see, I get the porcupine effect, dip my things inside, my stuffed peppers inside the rice, then I get that porcupine ball effect that I remember as a kid. This was one of my dad's, he loved porcupine balls, because I think he liked the fact that it was dipped in, um, it had uh, um, tomatoes on it. My dad liked cooked tomatoes on things. I think I'm going to cook this at about uh, 400 degrees in the oven. That's what I think I'm going to cook it at. Probably that pan's a little too small. Whoopsie. We fell out. So, didn't waste a whole lot. Set this aside. Now, I will cover this. I will cover these. And, uh... I got two bigger ones. I will cover these with foil and bake them. And they should come out really good. 
I hope so. I like that. Let me wash my hands again. Yeah, I like this. Um, I like this rice. I've used it for a lot of things. I've used it uh, in chicken and yellow rice, kind of. Um, I've used it with, uh, I've made black beans and Polish sausage and onions and fried, cooked it all together and made a rice and black bean, rice and black bean dish with Polish sausage. I, I like the flavor of it. I mean, I don't know if it's a true yellow uh, chicken ri uh, rice flavor, but I like this rice. I just picked up another one because I knew I was down. But I'm going to put these in the oven to bake for, I don't know, 45 minutes. I don't know. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on them. And that's going to be dinner tonight. Porcupine ball stuffed pep bell peppers. So I will show you guys when they're done. Okay, you guys are looking good. They're looking good. They smell wonderful. But they look good. I took the foil off. I baked them with foil on them, so. But they're looking good. They smell so good. They look yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. I guess I could have put tomato, a can of crushed tomatoes around it. But I didn't. So we're going to see what they taste like in just a second. I'm serving cream corn with it. So that's for dinner tonight. All right, this is dinner. Porcupine stuffed bell pepper and cream corn. Now, nobody's tasted it yet. It's hard and crunchy like a porcupine ball I remember being on the outside. Um, the inside looked good. I had to cut it open and see if they were done. Because the um, there wasn't a lot of meat juices, so to speak, in the pan. Because I think the rice absorbed most of it. So how is it, Honey Bunch? Really? Honey says it tastes really good. So I'm going to taste it. It's good, but I think I would not roll them in the rice at the end next time. I think next time I would just um, make the balls and put them in these peppers and not do the outside because the, you can, I tasted the texture difference between the rice on the inside that's nice and plump and this is hard and crunchy. So I won't roll them next time. But it was just six, it still tastes good. We're going to enjoy our dinner. But hey, I haven't made porcupine balls in like, oh my goodness, how long has it been since I made porcupine balls? It's been a, been a long, long time. Maybe long, 20 long time. years. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know why. The other day I just had this idea, let me make porcupine balls. So we're going to enjoy our meal. Bye. All right, you guys, dinner tonight, the porcupine ball stuffed in bell peppers. Okay, it, it didn't get a complete thumbs up. It got a, a thumb tilt. It didn't get a thumbs down or halfway thumb tilt. Okay, difference of what I'm going to do. Next time I'm in the mood to make them, I'm not stuffing them in peppers. I decided to use white rice instead. Go ahead and make the mixture um, the same as what I would do a meatloaf without the... Um, Bread crumbs, no bread crumbs. So I'd probably do hamburger meat, rice, uh, like a half a cup of rice, a half a cup of water like they suggested, um, an egg to help bind it, um, whatever, you know, um, cut up bell pepper and maybe some diced up onion, maybe dice them up, and a little bit of steak sauce and a, whatever multi-seasoning I like. And then make them into balls. And I think they would taste good if you put them in a pan. I know traditionally you put either like crushed tomatoes over them or tomato soup. But I don't really like that. So I'm thinking cream of mushroom soup on top of them. So that's probably what we'll do next time because we discussed it while we were eating it. Probably would not necessarily use the flavored rice because honestly, 
I didn't really get that much of a zing for my taste buds by using the flavored rice. Now, I might use down the road like one of those uh, rice packets you get um, where the yellow rice is sold that's like red beans and rice or black beans and rice. I might mix that in, um, but I would just open a can of black beans and mix them in because I do like to mix black beans in with stuff. But next time I think I'm going to do it basically the way I said it first and do the cream of mushroom soup over it. We have, um, we have leftovers for tomorrow night and a lunch maybe. So um, it wasn't a thumbs up, but it wasn't a thumbs down. It was a cocked thumb. So because the, the rice on the outside on the top, um, when I pushed it down into the rice, that was hard and crunchy. And that I did not like. I did not like that. <clears throat> so, um, it might not have been so crunchy if I had put the the broth over it or the soup over it or the stuff over it. Maybe if you put something over it, it won't be like that. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it before I make the cream of mushroom version. Because maybe if I can cover it in cream of mushroom soup... Um, maybe they would not be because the idea of putting the rice on the outside. I remember, as a, I remember when we did it when I was a kid, we rolled them, rolled the balls in the rice, and that's what gave it the porcupine effect. But again, we put the uh, stewed tomatoes over it, and I don't like stewed tomatoes. So, but that that's what's happening. Um, today's been kind of a boring day. I know I said early in the video I was going to. Uh, clean the closet and bake some cookies, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to call this video quits. And it was just a boring day, but there's nothing we're doing right now. We're not getting ourselves into trouble. I'm not running around town because we're on quarantine because of coronavirus. You know, we're staying home away from people as much as possible. So just another boring day. But, you know, I'm thankful. I say boring day, but I'm thankful that none of us are sick. And I knock on wood. That doesn't happen to us. Um, and I just pray that other people are healthy too. I pray all my friends and family are healthy. So I will uh, see you on the next video. Um, like and subscribe. And enjoy the craziness of life. Because you might just laugh about it when you tell a friend. See you all later.